Hello, this is Crypto Neptune, and in this video, we're going to do a wellness check on DripX. So we're going to take a look at the protocol, look at some of the price action. We're going to look at the the BNB payouts too to see how that's looking. But look at the protocol as a whole. Remember, nothing I say is financial advice. Use risk capital only, and thank you to those who continue to support the channel. So, looking at first, let's take a quick look at my miners. Looking at my miners, the 60 day miner, this was at one point up quite a bit. So, since that drip X price has kind of went back down, the ROI is roughly, you know, 36.75% now. So, now, I did buy this like right around $100. In fact, both of these were right around $100. But we see some of that ROI kind of moving back the opposite of the way. Same as here. That's 278%, you know, still a 4X here, which is fine. But I definitely, especially if you are staking or if you're mining out, you know, 60 plus days, you want this ROI to be attractive because again you're waiting that long of a period to get that miner to full maturity unless you use viper now let's look at uh, let's look at the payouts so the payout i am due 324 dollars and some change so that's what the the payouts are looking right now the eight day cycle not looking too attractive there more and more miners would need to come in in order for this number to kind of stack up a little bit. So let's kind of keep an eye out on that. But the eight day payout, not that attractive, but the 28 day attractive, you know, I'll take the $328 and let's go ahead and claim that now. So definitely appreciate that extra change there. So we will claim that and just kind of hold that in our wallet. So nice to have some BNB around this time while the price of BNB is kind of going up in value. So definitely appreciate that. So let's see if that goes through. Yep, so that finally did go through. Let's go over here to the buy and burn. So the buy and burn, at one point, I know at one point it was at Two BNB, it went down to one BNB, half a BNB, and right now they have the BNB at 0.3 BNB. And my thought is that is intended functionality by the DripX development team, Hustleman Matt and Eric the Bandit. My thought is as is when the market cap kind of pulls back a little bit, is maybe they kind of adjust that BNB and also kind of save some of that BNB. So right now in the buy and burn, looks like it's 1.3 million and some change. And the total amount burnt is 929K worth of drip X that's been burnt. This is the total amount of drip X and this is the dollar value here. So my guess is as the market cap maybe increases, to a certain extent, they, you know, could potentially increase that trigger cap a little bit. I mean, again, I haven't talked to them personally about kind of how the thought process with that trigger cap, but I'm sure there is a reason behind, you know, the why of the fluctuation. And I and it, my thought is it has to do with the fluctuation of the market. So. And then going here, so for the week, looks like 44K in ink has been generated. So that's awesome to see. So 6,589 ink has been generated. So we got, what, tomorrow was this Thursday, then Friday. And the team, I believe like on either late Thursday, Thursday or sometime on Fridays when they kind of take these rewards and then swap them out 
and then you know use those rewards to create dead miners. So that will help people that are mining at the, that are mining because that'll be more and more D rank bonus for them. But you know it's good to see that this money is 1.8 million is working for us over here. Now you know as as a community you know. The community, you know, as a whole would have to be on the same page because real quick, looking at the chart, you know, we're down 15.7% over the last 24 hours. And there has been some sell pressure because we were at five zeros and four. Now we have pulled all the way back to five zeros, one, four, nine, two. So that's a, a, you know, nice little pullback there. So that's a significant pullback. Good news is, look like some of that buy pressure is kind of pick, kick, uh, kind of picked up a little bit. So, two hundred and sixty-eight k in buys versus two hundred and eighty-four k in sales. You know, he was a strong buy. Somebody dropped three grand, so two point two one billion in drip X. So they're buying the bottom. You know, some nice buys here, and yeah, here's you know here's one, a huge sell off here for ten grand. So. 7.12 billion drip x was sold on the market and you know it's, it's and then here you know another 11.5 k sold so 6.92 billion so you know they could be swing trading they could be taking profits using that elsewhere i'm not sure you know, again what the thought process is there but that's kind of what's happening there and DripX is intended to be a token that is essentially is essentially mined and state you know now i understand at the at you know you want to take some profits of that drip x especially if it goes on a significant run but the point is to mine, get your drip X, stake it, and then get your BNB payouts. But again, you have to kind of watch like the community patterns and how the the community is moving. And kind of ever since that initial launch of drip X, there's been kind of that significant pullback. Now we did again, we did have a nice little run up, which was a week ago, and we still could stand to see like another run up back up to that. 1 million market cap you know it'd be nice to crack that 1 million market cap and up in fact the market cap and liquidity was actually kind of neck and neck for a while looking back was it a few days ago practically a few days ago when i did my last video it was sitting pretty nice so it's been a significant pullback let's see <clears throat> yeah there's another 11k yeah, somebody right there. Look at this here. Seven hours ago, somebody just, there was a same person. I don't know. Maybe that's a bot. I don't know what this is right here, but it was a a buy here for 30 grand and then a sale, same wallet, 30 grand. So not sure what that is about but that's kind of you know again full transparency as far as like what i'm seeing and yeah these are all transactions 500 500 bucks or greater is what i'm kind of looking at here so let's see if we see anything else here yeah there's another one nine hours ago 17 grand 17 grand sold but you know <clears throat> so it's it's at you know at this time it's a bearish trend now could things pick back up could potentially put pick back but pick back up but we will definitely have to kind of play by ear and see how things go but yeah you know the positives, what are the positives? The positives, we got we got the 
we got our we've been getting our payouts this is like what third third payout fourth payout right so you know just on camera just pocketed you know 300 plus bucks so you know i'll take it also positives the team they added the viper they added the viper they reduced the cap to oh now the drip x daily cap is 20 billion so it's going to get harder and harder to kind of accumulate some of that drip x or these days are going to fill up a lot quicker yeah that's 20 billion now huh and what else we got external revenue so like again <laughs> Uh, imagine DripX goes on a run when, you know, not only will BNB go, be going up, but let's imagine if the incentive token, which is a lower supply token that one of Richard Hart's tokens, which is a lower supply token, if that goes up in value, then that's a significant amount of capital coming into the ecosystem. But for me, on DripX, that is it. I wanted to just do a quick drop in. So thanks for listening and thanks for stopping by.